Hi, this is Winnie with Next Level Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Plunder A Pirate's Life, which is a game designed by Casey Shrimple and published by Lost Boy Entertainment. So if you are lucky enough to have friends and family that know you love games and they get you games for presents for Christmas, they sometimes let you borrow their games to unbox in a video. So let's find out what's inside Plunder A Pirate's Life. First, let's take off the plastic. This is a pretty heavy game, so I'm kind of excited to see what pieces are inside. And... See what kind of boats and stuff we have. Let's see here. All right. Okay. So first are the rolls. Probably not too bad. No, not super complicated. It's not supposed to be an overly complicated game, but there are some really cool facets to this game, including that in essence, every time you play, you make your own board. So instead of just pulling out a board and this is what you have. I'm sorry, those were too tempting to not pop out because they're such big pieces. So these are some little uh, cheat sheets, uh, player aids, and they're colors. They've got colors with all the same information, but based on what player you're playing as. So there should be six of those. Sorry, getting back to the board, each time you play, there are separate tiles and they're double-sided, and then you put these little board pieces around the edge, obviously in numerical order, because this would be on the bottom. And that makes your board for that game. So you have all this replayability with having different uh, a different board basically every time instead of just you pull out the same board and every single time everybody knows what's going to be where. Which is super cool. I really like the idea of that. I don't know if I've seen anything quite like that. Like there's plenty of games where you build it as you go, like Betrayal, uh, House on the Hill, and different things like that. But to actually have different boards as you go is really interesting. So here would be the last of this. So these pieces are going to go around the board and these basically are going to make the board, but these basically go together. This would go like this and make your board. You put your board pieces in between and that makes your outsides and your insides and it's going to be for your tracking. So you have numbers and letters, as you can see here, going both directions. Not exactly sure how these go together, but these are all the pieces you have for these. And as you can see, these are very, these are pretty thick pieces and the numbers are really big so it's easy to track so we're going to use those to set up our board and then these are all of our player aids so again in each color for each player one two three four yeah there's six so those are kind of cool and then the backs are all the same right giving you like a little rundown of uh, how the game works and the different actions and stuff you have so those are very cool also super thick so these are really like sturdy they're um really thick and stuff like that. Instead of just being like a thin card, they're nice and thick little pieces of um, cardboard. So those are really nice. What else? We have a couple of spinning compasses. I should probably maybe not take all of these out. And then we have four X marks the spots. That's what these are for. And then, oh, these are the corner pieces. So these are gonna help us make, gosh, these really pop out pretty easy because um, they're so thick. So you know how like when you have um, some of the pieces you pluck out of these, sometimes the tokens are a little bit um, flimsier, but these are really nice and thick, like super great quality. So these are our four corners that we're going to use with the numbers and the letters. So like one would go like that up there and that makes a corner. So that helps you um, finish the game board along with these pieces and you put them on the end and it helps you make a corner. So that's how those work. Very cool uh, little designs, you know, pirate so it's very you know intricate so next oh my gosh look at all the ships so cool okay focus on the boards first so here are some examples of the boards and as you can see they're all different I'm not sure what all the symbols mean but I'm gonna guess maybe the extra skulls mean harder to take over or more dangerous seems logical um, but each of these are gonna be different on the fronts and the backs and again, this is how you're going to make your player board and they're going to be surrounded by the numbers and the pieces that I showed you already before. So each one of these is different and there are six of these. Three, four, five, six, yep. So each one has like different numbers of islands, like some of these look more complex than others. Um, and again, because you randomize these when you set them up, each game is slightly different, which is really very cool. So different kinds of um, set up for that. And then, let's see here. I got all kind of, got some dice. So I know there's an attack die. This one is the attack die. I think one's a defense. 
Attack, defense, sailing. That's right. Okay, so the red one's the attack, which I was right. The defense die is the black one with the red pips, and then the lighter colored one is for sailing, which it almost looks like it has yellow pips, but it's probably white. So those are the just the dice, just kind of like regular D6 dice. There's those. And then a bunch of sailing masks for our ships. So there's all kinds of ship pieces in here. I think there's 18 ships, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so there's three in each color. So I'm gonna guess you have three ships when you're, um, for each player you're playing. And then these are just little mass pieces that you get to add to your ships. Building, my favorite thing, I'm super good at that. And you would know that if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm excellent at putting things together. And that's meant to be funny. Um, <laughs> this is a storm, a storm, uh, like a little token almost like. So I think this moves along the board. I'm not exactly sure how, but it basically marks where a storm is happening in the season. I'm assuming if you get in there, it's probably going to be bad for your ship. So there's that piece, which is just kind of like a hard plastic. And then we still have our little compasses. I'm not exactly sure how these work, but again, they're really nicely made. Then let's look at some of these boats. Here's purple and green. And then of course black because got to have black for that player in your group that must play with black. So these are just for size reference. Um, and then if you look at the front, they're all designed. They all have a really cool design on the front of them. Um, and these are like, uh, like a, a hard plastic. They almost felt rubbery at first a little bit, but I think they're really just a hard plastic. But they're in several different colors, so that's those three colors. There's also red, yellow, and brown. Kind of a yellowy green. That's a pretty cool color. And that, probably can see the symbols better in that one. And again, you can see they're pretty good size. Like, I can barely fit the three in my hand. So those are pretty cool. And then there's three, they don't sound like plastic, it's interesting. There's three for each color. And as you can also see, I didn't point out yet, look how cool the insert is. So I can tell my outside boards are going to go here. Let's see. This. Oh, this is for my spinners. And um, so all kinds of cool. There's a spot for everything. I can tell this rounded part right here means my compasses are going to go there. So there's a spot for everything. And also, if I can not dump anything from the box, let's see. There's stuff on every edge. Probably not. Let's see if I can gently do it. There is artwork on the edges of the boxes on, on the inside here. So a little hard to see without dumping anything out. But it just goes to show that they put a lot of effort into the box, which we always like when they put the extra effort into it. It does make a difference and we notice. Then there are some, these are little people that you're gonna add to your ships. And again, they're just little pegs. This kind of reminds me of the game of life where you hit little pieces of or little actions in the game and you have to add people or get married, etc., etc. Every once in a while you run and have kids. So this, these are the same thing. These are going to fit in your ships. So that's what those are. There's a whole bunch of those. And then I think these are um, cannons. Some sort of mechanism for fighting other ships, right? Yeah, that's what they look like. So I probably put the people in the wrong spot. But you get the idea. So again, those fit in there. From this angle, they almost look like a hairdryer. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But anyway, that's what those are. There's a whole bunch of those. So fighting, because I think you can gain points by knocking other people's ships out or taking other ships down. And basically the idea of the game is you're trying to get 10 plunder points. And you can do that by doing certain things, taking over islands and knocking other ships down and things like that. Um, and these are little flags. I'm not exactly sure what the flags are. They are color coordinated with your boat. So maybe they go on islands after you've been to an island, if you've conquered an island. Because the ships show cannons, life, our people, and a mast. So they must be something different for the for those. I'm not exactly sure where the flags go. But again, spots for everything here. I think the dice probably go in here. Perfect fit. So again, this box, the insert, really very thought out. Really liking that. Okay, and then there's a lot of cards in this game. So let me just pull all these out. These are probably the resource cards. Because there's 150 of those, and since these all have the same back, I'm going to guess that's what these are. Let's see if I can get this off of here. Okay. 
So, oh, I guess these are all the same. Okay, so there's five different types of resource cards and there's 150 of them. So it looks like there's a lot of the same type without, there's no writing or anything. So I'm guessing these will make more sense when you're playing. I think there's like rum and I read there's different resources, wood and pro this is probably gold, something like that. So there's some of those. Let's see what else we got. Nice bright colors. I mean, they're all the same card, but just the card has got a lot of detail, lots of color. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like wood. Let's see here. Probably be easier to see outside of the plastic. Nothing gives me more trouble than trying to open these up. Okay, let's see here. So here's the wood. So see, it's just like a really bright, vibrant color card. There's the wood. I don't know what that is. Iron. Okay, that makes sense. I was kind of thinking something metal. So there's iron. And I was right. This is rum. And this is gold. So I think I said something similar to that. Oh, I guess there's four resources. And then this is just the back. So that's not a resource. That's the back of the card. Okay. And then now we've got a whole nother deck of cards. And this one is treasure cards. And then these are plunder cards. So the plunder cards I mentioned already, you're trying to get 10 plunder points to win and you can do certain things like turning in gold for plunder cards to help you go toward your total, like having ships and also taking down other people's ships, etc. So these are really cool. They're all the same, I believe. Yeah, but they're like basically like a captain's hook. <laughs> so that's kind of a cute touch on that card. There's a whole bunch of those. And then last but not least, we have treasure cards. There we go. A lot of plastic. Okay. And there are 55 of these. Let's see. Okay, now these all have something different. Okay. So the back has the X marks the spot. But on the other side, so a bunch of cards that they kind of describe, like this one's a negative a plunder point. Oh, that's not going to be very helpful. That's interesting because these are supposed to be, oh no, it's plus. I'm sorry. Plus one plunder point. As I say, I thought these were supposed to be helpful. So plus two gold, plus a plunder point, plus three gold, and your ship was a light. Okay, yeah, so there's all kinds of things here that are gonna help you basically get your plunder points faster. So if you can get these treasure cards, they're gonna help move your game along faster. And there's a whole bunch of these. I'm just not exactly sure how you get them. So that's pretty much everything that's in Plunder A Pirate's Life. We've got these really cool compasses that I didn't put together yet. Um, I'll stress over that later. And then uh, some cool player aids. Again, these are really thick and nice. So these are going to be fun to play with and I think are going to be durable and last a really long time. I love that they're also color coordinated. That's nice. Um, these awesome ships. I have to say I have to go back to this color because I love this color. Um, and then also black, because which is unusual. You don't always find that in every game. So that's kind of nice. Um, our resource cards, I kind of stacked everything up here, our plunder cards, our treasure cards, and one of the coolest things is these borders for your, uh, your game, right? So you get to basically build your own game board every time. Six double-sided boards is going to make it really unique. Um, I'm excited about that. And I love these corner pieces. They're just highly decorative. I love it. Um, so that's kind of nice. We've got masks for our ships and people, cannons, a bunch of stuff. Oh, and a really cool insert. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to play this game, and I hope that it's a lot of fun. I think it will be, and especially if you love this kind of theme. And I'm also super appreciative to my friend who let me unbox this and also the person that bought it for him. So thanks for watching Lexile Board Games.